So if you're one of those people that is lucky enough to still own a box of FP100C, this video is for you. If not, you need to find a friend who can hook you up. Lucky for me, I know a guy and his name is Hayes Peterson. If you don't follow him on YouTube, make sure to look him up. I have a bigger video that I have planned to talk about him and to talk about this project that I'm doing with this box of FP100C. But today I have a very quick video that I want to show you how you can retrieve your negative from the back part of this peel apart film. So jumping right into it, I'm gonna play it back at normal speed so you can see the exact process that I did. It's relatively simple. All you're gonna need is a piece of glass, some running water, a toothbrush, and some bleach. What we need to do first is go ahead and rinse off the film to get any of the chemicals or the goo off so it's just a clean piece of film. As we're washing off the film, we also want to get the piece of glass wet. This is gonna act as a flat surface for us to work on. As well, it's going to protect the underside of the film, which is the actual image. As we're scraping away, what I'm going to call is the remjet, though I don't really know if that's what it is or what it's called. To my knowledge, it's acting as the same thing. So once everything is clean, we're going to put the photo face down on the glass and very gently start to massage off this black layer. Now I've done this a few times where I've just kind of splashed some bleach on it and I've found that pouring it in the lid and just dabbing the toothbrush into the bleach tends to give you a little bit more control and it seems to be enough bleach to start the process. So very slowly we're going to alternate between washing with water and washing with bleach making sure that we are being careful not to lift up the image because if the bleach gets on the underside of the film it's going to ruin the image now the rest of this is going to seem a little bit boring because i said i was going to play it out in real time it's just repeating those same steps until the image is clear and then you're going to make sure to rinse everything off. I take my gloves off because they still could have a little bit of bleach on them and I don't want to get the bleach on the photo. So after everything is rinsed off, we're going to carefully peel off the film from the glass, make sure everything is rinsed and then hang it to dry for a few hours.
Once the film is dry, you can handle it just like any other negative. So my process for that is going to be putting it in my Epson V600 photo scanner, scanning it in with Silverfast as a positive, and then converting it to a negative in Lightroom with Negative Lab Pro. I tend to choose one of the cinematic settings, and hopefully after following those steps, you're going to have a good looking image. This is what mine looked like. I know this film gets even more rare every day, so this is a very niche specific video that's not gonna apply to a lot of people, but I hope there is someone out there that this will apply to and it will help. And if that is you and this video found you or you found the video, thank you for watching. And for anyone else who may have watched this whole video knowing that this doesn't apply to them, a special thank you to you. You're the true MVP. I hope you all have a great, fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, I'll see you later.